These conditions Jungle down turn six, Kyle Busch hard into the tire barrier. Oh, he tried to slow down, and he just impales that Chevrolet into the tire barrier. Hard contact for Kyle. He's trying to back the car up to get out of the tire pack, but he has wedged that Chevrolet Camaro underneath of the tire pack, and that's the first time we have seen that all weekend long. Windshield deep into the tires there in turn six, and that brings out a full course caution. We have seen on different corners where one car might have an issue, but they know that they can continue rolling. We'll see the blue flag, which is a local caution, but this is a full flag caution now. Kim. And Kyle Busch feels like his car will still roll and he can still race. He did ask for a little help. Take a listen. Well, on the, on the radio, he told him, I just need help getting out of the tire barrier. After that, I should be good. Kyle Busch, you see him just sliding. He was very nervous about the wet conditions and that nervousness proving itself as he gets into the tire barrier. And Bell looking to grab the stage win. It will be his first stage win this year as he makes that hard right hand turn onto the front stretch and across the start finish line for the win of stage one. The Guys, Jensen Guys, Button is around me. coming to pit road. Jensen Button now tries to get it right and he almost hits Joey Logano. So Button was coming to pit road and he got tagged from behind. At the same time, Stenhouse missed turn 11. I'm sorry, turn 12, turn 11. He had to run off into the runoff area, got turned around and back on track. They're putting the slicks on the 15 of Jensen Button. You see again the yellow lettering on these Goodyear tires. And everybody's watching lap times of the cars on slick. Let's see what exactly happened to Button. He's kind of a little high. Oh, there's contact. We talked about how di difficult it was going to be to get onto pit road. You wonder if the car behind the 15, I couldn't make out the car number, even knew he was pitting. And then Joey Logano comes around the corner and sees a car sitting broadside in front of him. Trying to make this pass on Gisbergen to the inside, down into turn one, makes it work. It's really a one-lane track. He gets loose on corner X and loses the spot back. It's a one-lane track, one line of drive. Everything else is wet. From NASCAR, they have made the decision that because of the late start and sunset, they have changed the length of this race, and they're letting all the teams know this race will end at lap 75. So you see that in the upper left corner of the screen. 47 of the 75 laps have been run, and so now the finish line has changed. They're going to 75 laps now. All the teams know it. He passed Byron in the wall. Byron missed the corner. Harvick around. They're going to stack up. It's too narrow. There's nowhere for everybody to go. you got to go right. They are all been stopped. There are seven cars sitting here with nowhere to go. They're trying to back up. It is a traffic jam. I mean, there's absolutely jam. nowhere to go right here. Traffic jam on Jackson Street, or Jackson Drive. And so they knew this was going to happen. You hear the fans yelling, but that was just a situation where one car got sideways, and then another one was so close he couldn't get by. But that means another caution lap and another restart, Steve. And then Reddick has been able to clear Kyle Busch. He's running fourth. Here's Christopher Bell getting into the tire barrier in turn one. Yeah, it looked like he's just getting too hot. And as the car's peeled off, he just, just way too much speed. There's no other way to put it. You see the contact to the tire barrier. He's able to keep going. You see him. Treble turn embrace. six. Tyler Reddick is buried in this, into the uh, tire wall. In turn number six, Tyler Reddick took a wider line coming in. And this portion of the track that he's stuck in is still wet. He's on slicks. He's trying to get traction, and he can't because the pavement's wet. He has buried that monster energy Toyota Camry into the safer barrier right here at the end of Columbus Drive. Caution comes out, and they will have to pull him out from underneath the tire barrier. Tyler Reddick had just made his way up to fourth. He had passed Kyle Busch. Much pressure he puts on the back of Haley. Oh, he hit the wall. He hit the inside wall and sent him into the tire barriers. We'll see how much damage that has done. It's torn the left front off of Dylan's car. You see the toe link has been bent. Yeah, this is going to be the end of the day for the three car. There's no way he can continue with that much damage on the left front. It all started with contact on the inside of the corner, forcing the three straight. He was putting such pressure on the leader. In the end, a mistake for the three, Rick.
Take another look at it. He bounces off that inside wall right into the tire barrier and hard contact with the left front. He was just pushing so hard, but right there he clips the wall and into the tire barrier. Way. He's looking for the right moment, maybe perhaps a slip from Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott con is conflicted right now. He's trying to go offense, but he's trying to play defense. He'll lose second as SVG is on the move. He'll take the spot. Is Bergen now in second place? Zeroes in on Haley out front. Haley looks in the mirror and sees a new car. Does that add pressure? Does that push the 31 into a mistake? Look at how much the 91 gains. He's right on the back bumper now out of turn five. Here he comes out of five. This is the potential change for the lead. Justin Haley in the 31. Shane Van Gisbergen now will take a peek. It's not there, but he gets right up on the back bumper of Haley. Battle for the lead and possibly the win. Leaving six and headed to turn seven. Oh, an aggressive move right here down the hill under breaking. We got a caution on the racetrack. We're gonna have to go back and see where they were lined up before that caution came up. Haley B mistake free for five more laps. Through the restart zone they go. Five to go here in Chicago. A car link, now two in front of the 91 is Haley. He's gonna have to be perfect. Here he comes into turn number one. Haley so far so good, slips just a tad off the corner. But there, here he comes, battle for the lead. Shane Van Gisberg into the inside and to the lead off turn two with less than five to go here in Chicago. But Haley is right there. He's coming back to the inside through turn three. He's going to retake the lead. The 91 back to the inside into turn four. The crossover move. He is now clear into the lead. Gisberg and off of turn five down the long straightaway. He's got wide open racetrack to work with and no pressure from behind because he's going to pull away by one, maybe two car lengths. It's Van Gisbergen with the lead. They're stacked up from second on back as everybody jostles for real estate. Van Gisbergen to the lead here in Chicago. The success he turn, had. turn number one, Bubba Wallace into Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And into the tire pack, Stenhouse goes. Bubba came in way too hot, flipped Stenhouse, and Stenhouse has buried that Chevy into the tire pack. That's off the end of the front straightaway. And it looks as though he's stuck. Sure enough, the caution comes out. And the driver did not get the white flag that's out front. That is the only way that the race could be over if a caution comes out with under one to go. But that means we'll go into overtime. So a little more racing for the fans here in Chicago and those of you watching. Look at this as Bubba in the 23 slid into the 47. The 47 gets locked underneath the tire barriers in turn one. Yeah, Bubba just completely out of line. Drivers left. I don't know if the track was still damp or if he was just out of control, but you see him coming in with a head of speed already spinning out. Ricky Stenhouse probably has no idea what happened. KO'd from the side. Into the restart zone. SVG trying to make history here in Chicago. It's overtime, presented by Credit One Bank. Down into turn one they go. Here they come with less than two laps to go. SVG away with the lead by a car length, maybe two. You got Haley, you got Elliott, and now Kyle Larson's in the mix. They're all stacked up right behind him, but in command and pulling away is Shane Van Gisbergen to turn three. And the battle now is for third, fourth, fifth. You see those cars close together. Down into turn four. No lockups. Everybody get.